All right. Now, contract. Let's try this again. You have no mech. Well, you know, if it were up to me, you would never have a mech again, but... Tell you what, let's ditch some of these pilots for now, because I know that we have some pilots that haven't gotten any time in the cockpit, and we need to get them trained up. We got Lieutenant Holden, who is dog shit, but at the same time, we'll, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. We will make it work. I hope. Oh, right. I forgot. We gotta- we gotta spend our money on paint, like we do. Like we do! The DLC campaigns are way better in my opinion. Uh, I mean, they're okay. Again, I- I haven't been necessarily blown away by, uh, by any of the campaign stuff so far. But at the same time, it is what it is. Like, I- I'm not- I'm not coming into this expecting Poe. Like, uh, it's- it's Mech Warrior. It's- it's big stompy robots. I- I wasn't- I wasn't expecting to be emotionally moved or anything like that. There we go. Okay, and we'll do the same thing with this guy. Him will do. Here we go. Outstanding. Kestrel was peed. The others have also been present. <laughs> yeah, that's that's basically the that's I guess that's the best thing you can say about something is like it's present. It's a thing that happened. Well, that's fair, Darkman. And and not everybody not everybody is gonna get emotionally invested in video games, and that's fine. I I'm a I don't expect everyone to, but at the same time, like, as a storyteller, even in video games, if you don't elicit some kind of reaction or concern from me, then I would argue that your story doesn't serve a purpose. Um, I am a firm believer that if you don't if you're not setting out to tell a compelling story, just don't tell a story and let the player tell their own. RimWorld is a great example of that. RimWorld is not trying to tell a story, it's letting you create your own. Dwarf's Fortress is not trying to tell a story, it's letting you tell your own. Uh, Battletech, for that matter, when you play some of the mods and stuff, is kind of the same way. Like, if you play the 2018 Battletech game, it's not really trying to tell a story, it's letting you tell your own story, and that's absolutely what we did in the VTA campaign. Uh, we, we kind of made our own story, our own canon, and we have fun with it. Because a story that I helped create is always going to have me more emotionally invested than a story that somebody else is trying to tell, but is only putting half the effort into it. And then it's like, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't really care. Like, I don't care about Mason's Marauders. I don't care about Rihanna and whatever she has to say. I don't care about the Castro Lancers. Like, none of, it's all, it's so cut and dry. Like, it, it's so boilerplate that it, like, it doesn't, it doesn't elicit an emotion. It doesn't elicit any kind of concern from me. CEW, I've never played Project Wingman, but I know, like, obviously, its closest neighbor is gonna be the Ace Combat franchise, and Ace Combat is one of those, where, like, it gets you invested in the story, and the storytelling is not always great. I'm- I'm stopping for our mechs, by the way, because they're very, very slow. Um, but, like... Ace Combat is one, like, people talk about it, it's like, it's an anime, it's a soap opera. Um, but at the end of the day, 
they still do a good job of pulling on the heartstrings and actually making you care about the characters and what's going on. As opposed to, you know, a game like this where it's all so clinically delivered that there's just no feeling at all. Now that's how you do it. When you give them the missiles and you give them the frickin' large lasers so they don't have to worry about distance, then suddenly this all goes much, much better. Oh, you better believe I'm gonna leg you, buddy. I got you anyway. I got you anyway, you donkey. Come on, boot up, boot up. Taking way too much damage. But yeah, like this Javelin? The Javelin and the Jenners and the Locusts, like... They were absolutely stomping a mud hole in my people last time around because once it got in close, they just couldn't do anything with the PPCs. Now? Not a problem. Get leg, nerd. Tarkov leg meta, bitch. Okay, that went much better than last time around. Correct. Fucking donkey. Project Wingman is amazing, you should definitely play it when you can. Uh, you know, Project Wingman has been on my wish list since it came out, like, years ago, and I've just never gotten around to buying it or playing it. And Pistol popping in for a bit says, Hi! Whoa, hello, Pistol. Glad to have you. Glad you could stop by on a Saturday, and hopefully you're having an outstanding weekend so far, as always. And whether you're here for five minutes or five hours, always glad to have you. There we go. It does feel kind of lowbrow to give Warhammer's large lasers, though, I will say that. Like, it's definitely better for the AI performance in combat. Um, but man... Like, it feels like heresy to put large lasers in a Warhammer rather than PPCs. Uh, okay. I want you guys to go down there. Y'all, y'all go down. Go down and fight. Also, the stalker is just so slow. I mean, I know the stalker is slow, but it doesn't- it doesn't make it hurt less. I'm sorry, what? At the requested position, Commander. The qu qu quick draw. Son of a bitch. Alright, I'll go in and leg the quick draw. You guys just keep moving. Surprise, motherfucker! Here we go. Thankfully, the AMS on this hero treb is actually doing work. The tonnage confused medium mech. Yeah, you're not wrong, Omega. And I actually said the exact same thing earlier this stream. Like, to me, the quick draw is a medium mech in heavy mech's clothing. Like, it's... 
into heavy mech by tonnage, but not by anything else. Oh, don't worry, buddy. I'm coming for you next. Yeah, that hurt me. I bet you that hurt more. Running the red line, Chad. Get him, please. All right, all right. What do we got? Need to let the heat come down a little bit. Yeah. Pack off leg mana. Shit. He hit me with flamers. He hit me with flamers. And Rex rolling into the chat. Not only rolling into the chat, but gifting a sub to Geigen Von Huber. Well, first of all, Rex, welcome to the stream on a Saturday. Glad to have you. As always, glad you could join us. And of course. Thank you for the gifted sub. You do not have to support the stream in that manner, but I appreciate you taking the time to do so. There we go. Flamethrowers hate them. Yeah, I also hate flamethrowers. I mean, they're great when I'm using them. They're not so great when they're being used against me. Especially when I'm running a hot mech. Also, I'm very, very close to losing a leg right now, and that's very, very bad. Rex says, Howdy can't stay, cause there, cause taking Dad to a nice place to eat dinner and celebrate his birthday, but have a fun stream and a good Saturday. Well, same to you, Rex. As always, glad to see you. And hopefully your dad enjoys the birthday. Give him our best. And uh, congratulate him for making it another year on a planet where everything kills you. Which, uh, in and of itself, is no small feat. Enemy eliminated. Uh, no, there is no mech beta report to perform repairs, sadly. Uh, let's see. H how are our boys doing? Let me let me have a look at them. You're okay. You're not okay. And you are also not okay. So like, is this the thing that's gonna happen often where they just throw these giant ass VTOLs at us? Cause if so, that's gonna get really annoying. Following your lead. It's missions like this that make me miss like the old days. Cause I think of, uh, I think of like Mech Commander 2, where in a situation like this, assuming we hadn't actually lost any physical parts of the mech, you would just call in the little repair vehicle thing oh we're yeah you would call on the little repair vehicle thing and then you would just repair your mechs and you would get the lovely little welding slash ratchet sound for 10 minutes while it fixed up all your mechs uh not just not just combat vehicle spam there's a lot of turret spam as well The artillery missions are also pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. We we did one of the artillery missions a little earlier in the stream, and it was uh, 
it was rough. It was rough. We're gonna get up here a little bit closer, and then we're just gonna have to wait, because again, our mechs are extremely slow. Especially the Stalker. So I'm just gonna hang back, and we're gonna wait. Wait for our boys to catch up. And then we're gonna go in and hope that they don't blow us all up in the meantime. Like where three had a mobile field base that would come in and repair you. Yeah, you, you definitely do not have that on this game. At least not in the base game. Uh, it might be in one of the DLCs. I can't say for sure. Um, like, it's weird too because it almost feels like uh, Irate Mayor, yes, I have played Brigandor and that game was hard as balls, but I loved it. It's very, very fun. Um, but uh, the... I think it's like the second or the third campaign mission. They give you like a repair bay and they're like, here, here's a repair bay. And it almost makes it seem like that's a thing that's going to happen in more missions. But I have not seen a repair bay on any other missions except for that one. Alright, here we go. We already know kind of what we're dealing with. So I'm going to do what I can to uh, avoid line of sight for right now. Because this jab one's probably going to come right at my people. Oh no, he's actually going to hang back a little bit. Alright. That's fine. Yep, that's a thing that's going to happen when you suck. And you do suck. Again, that's a thing that happens when you suck, and you do suck. Surprise, motherfucker! We're in a bad way. Oh, well, he ragdolled hard. Unfortunately for you, riflemen are not great on their armor, my friend. Oh, we get a we get a thing. Destroy 75 heavy mechs in the campaign or career. Well, I, I have definitely done that. Get leg nerd. Did you just hit me with a small laser? I'm gonna see about potentially going after this target. Well, maybe not. Let's just let's just finish the job. Let's just finish the job, and then let's get the hell out of here before I get a leg taken off. Repair me are quite rare in this game. I can only think of three missions on top of my head that have them. Yeah, and that's what I was saying. Like it's very. Like, they make it seem like it's going to be a regular occurrence, but it absolutely is not. At least not in my experience. Oh, well, this one's going to be another rough one. I'm sorry, is that a... Okay, it was a veto. It was a veto. But I don't care, we're getting out. We're getting out while this mech is still in one piece. Prefer the speed of the Raven on some demolition missions. I'll even run the Raven with airstrikes to wreck the demo target quickly. Yeah, you can do that. Um, it's definitely a rough mission. That's for damn sure. Uh, but yeah, you, you could potentially do that. Especially with the Raven and, you know, the whole ECM thing. Which, sadly, I don't... I don't we don't have any right now. Um... Let's see, Phoenix Hawk, yeah, sure. All right, and then I'll take, uh... This will take a large laser, because we just lost some large lasers, so it'd probably be good to have a few more to replace them. I mean, good lord. Two million dollars, or two million sea bills in damages. 
Can we repair? We can. All right, outstanding. That's actually not as expensive as I was thinking it was going to be. Can we repair all of this? We can. Outstanding. Again, not as expensive as I thought it was going to be. This one will probably be a bit more expensive, though. Yeah, a million sea bills. Let's just go ahead and do it. And the stalker, thankfully, slow as it is, was the only one to make it out without any serious damage, so I'll take it. And the Phoenix Hawk, we're going to go ahead and sell, because I don't need a Phoenix Hawk. And there we go. What did Serene Hunt say? I see you responding to that. I don't see it. Oh, Riata is your stepmother and Fahad is a talented drum. Uh, I mean, is that canon? Is Riata actually your stepmother? Because if so, that's kind of... Like... I mean, I'm sending my piece on, on nepotism and things like that. Are they sending us to another planet for this one? Let's see. Yeah, they are. They're sending us to Bethel. Alright. Well, I guess we'll... You know what? Let's... We're close to a hub. And there's a hero mech. Let's check that out first. Yeah, I know, General Quarters. You had me doing some time travel, too. I had to go look it up. I was like, what the hell are you looking about? Uh, Beagle Active Pro. Oh, Hero Blackjack. Tell me about the Hero Blackjack. Receiving wide acclaim during the defense of Zosa 7, Michael of Ubaudo? Ubaudo? Am I pronouncing that right? And his Blackjack, the Arrow, are in a permanent commission from the Federated Sun's 8th Light Cavalry. An outspoken defender of the poorly regarded Blackjack, Ubodo would often challenge anyone who criticized the much maligned design. So, what I see is a large pulse laser and a shitload of machine guns. Am I reading that right? I mean, it's 84 kph, which is fast for a blackjack, but is not fast compared to what we're currently using. It's decent armor for a blackjack. I mean, let's, let's, I mean, it's a hero mech. Of course we're gonna buy it. It's only 5 million. We can easily afford it. Uh, we've also got a beagle for sale, and an Electronic Warfare Active Probe. I mean, we might as well buy the Beagle and the Active Probe. Uh, what else did we have? We had the Artemis. Okay, alright. I, I, I see you with your Artemis. I don't really want it, though. Not an LRM-10, anyway. I'll buy it anyway, just so we have it in the cargo hold. We may never use it, so that might have been a waste of money, but... I regret nothing. Uh, Alright, let's have a look at this thing. Let's see what we can do with it. Okay, so it's already m almost max armor. Um, it's running some double heat sinks. Large laser, medium lasers, and the torsos. And yeah, just, just an ass load of machine guns. So... Yeah, to, to Dizzy's point, T-Gab, there is, in fact, an official mod from the game developer that adds, uh, that adds infantry, but from what I've seen, most people don't like it and think it's kind of just cheap shots. Like, uh, you basically just suddenly get hit by something and it, like, strips a bunch of your armor and you have no idea where it came from and you can't do anything about it. Um, at least that's that's the read that I saw. I'm not against this design, but again, we're looking at a 45 ton mech full of machine guns and we're we're now at the point where we're regular see regularly seeing mediums and heavy mechs 
in every mission. So I don't know if uh, if the blackjack is long for this world. I think it's just going to take too much damage and not really give us a return on the investment. I mean, it's still it's it's still a hero mech, so of course I'm going to take it. But I think we just stick it in cold storage because I I just I genuinely don't see myself using it. Yeah, it's good for demolition, but we're trying to stick to the story missions. So, I think we'll just cold storage it for now. I, I may come back and do like a meme lance with all hero mechs at some point. Uh, but since we're an industrial hub, I, I just... God, these marauders, they, they were doing good and then they weren't. And it's going to be very, very expensive to put them back together. There's even a part of me that rather than the rather than the T-Bolt, I kind of want to put the Archer together. Or maybe the Crusader instead. But the T-Bolt is so tanky though. He <laughs> Decisions, decisions. I guess we'll put it together for now. For, for lack of having anything else better to field at the moment. Speaking of... Uh, just to get a little more money, because we're about to spend a bunch of it. I'm going to get rid of the griffin, because I don't see us ever using that again. And I like the longbow, but, like, we already have a stalker. Hi, Gridler. We're glad to have you. Glad you could join us. I wish you the best on the, on the work. Uh, again, I always... I always give my condolences to the folks that have to work on the weekend because that's never fun. So I wish you the best and hopefully the day goes by quickly and uneventfully. In the meantime, we'll hold down the fort and uh, hopefully we'll catch you on the next one. So have a great weekend. Have a good day at work and stay safe out there. The world is is full of insanity and chuckle fucks. You can never be too careful. All right, let's let's get to work here. Let's get to work. We're gonna have to put these donkeys back together. Like this thing got cored, so it's completely, completely shat upon. Um, but let's go with the large lasers. Again, obviously, we're we're basically just building another warhammer, is what we're doing. But that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that necessarily. Warhammer is a good mech, and so is a Marauder. Is this we we have to be extra cognizant of how bad the AI is and account for that. So if we do large lasers and we do medium lasers with the medium ballistic slot, we could do like a burst fire AC ten. And the reason I like giving them the burst fires is because they're a little more accurate with them as opposed to like the regular AC-10 where they tend to miss a little bit more. Uh, but let's go two bins of AC-10 ammo and we're a bit overweight. Only 40 rounds. We need at least two bins. My fear is that with two large and two medium lasers, the computer's going to be dumb and is not going to know what to do. It's going to think it's overheating and end up screwing itself in the process. I'm reluctant to remove the additional heat sink. AC5 maybe? Yeah, I mean, that may be a better fit. Let's see. If we throw in an AC5 and give him the burst fire... And we can afford to give them like three bins of ammo and throw in an additional heat sink. Two additional heat sinks. 
Just to keep him nice and cool so the computer doesn't freak out. Cole, oh, absolutely not backward reflect. Like, I, I'm giving this to the AI. And given the AI's performance up until this point, there is no way in fuck I am giving them double heat sinks. A3 of the Marauders that we're getting ready to rebuild all got horn. No way am I giving them double heat sinks that they can then get blown up. Yeah, we, we have we have a few doubles, but I'm not giving those to the AI. Absolutely not. Um, I think we'll go with this. Again, it's not ideal. But I'm I'm building for the AI now at this point. Like, as I'm beginning to realize how bad the AI is at actually using mechs, I'm I'm having to like redo designs with that in mind. Sadly, I don't think we're gonna have enough large lasers to actually fill these up. Well, we might. We might. Let's do that. Uh, put in the mediums, of course. And because this is an all energy variant, we will we will end up filling in most of the rest of this. Uh, well, first of all, we max armor because of course we do. But we'll end up filling in most of the rest of this with um, with heat sinks and pistol. I see hydration income. Yeah, exactly, Reed. We're, we're basically, we're idiot-proofing the mechs. Because the computer is stupid. Uh, what do I want to give them for the overhead? We could go with another large laser, or I could give them a single PPC just for that long-range punch. Honestly, though, I'd rather just give them another large laser. Because the heat is 7.5 on the large laser, and the PPC is 9.6. So in the interests of saving tonnage, I think we just give them another large laser. So right about, you know what, let's do something crazy. Give them a, give them a large, short burst laser. Yeah, Matt, and, and that, like... By putting in three PPCs in a 3D, that would be outstanding if I used it. But, again, giving it to the AI, that's just going to be a lot of... It, it's going to be a waste of a lot of very expensive equipment. For very little benefit. Alright, there we go. And then, again, we've pretty much maxed out the armor, so we just fill this bitch up with heat sinks. Give them all the heat sinks. So there's absolutely no concern in the computer's mind about whether or not they can fire these weapons. Like, I, I don't want the computer to be afraid to fire these weapons as much as possible. Like, I'm even thinking about putting in more short, short burst lasers, but I'll, I'll go ahead and start to work on it. Uh, let us... And, and again, Erst had mentioned earlier about maybe maybe the computer actually takes weapon groups into account and that could be the case so like i don't know if it does but if it does in this case maybe we do need to consider the weapon groups so i want the large lasers firing here i want medium lasers firing here and I want all three on this weapon group. So that they can fire all three large lasers if they choose. And then let's look at this one. I think this one's going to be the same as the other. So we'll do the same thing as before. Uh, we'll stick an AC5 burst fire in there. Give them medium lasers, plus large lasers. Kind of running out of large lasers, though. 
And then we fill up the torso with some heat sinks. Put in the AC5 ammo as you do. Give them two bins of that. And what am I forgetting? I should have taken a screenshot is what I should have done. I should have taken a screenshot. Uh, but we got three tons of bleh. Chat, what did I do? Why is this so much different than the other one? I don't think it was more heat sinks, though. Like, I... I genuinely don't remember what I tried to do with this one. And it won't tell me. Son of a bitch. Well, screw it. We'll just- we'll just throw an approximation of it together. It doesn't really matter. It's the computer. It's probably gonna get blown up more than once anyway. I, I'm a little weird like that. Again, I've said before, I like to standardize designs. It's just that I sometimes have difficulty remembering how to standardize the design in the early parts of it. Uh, we'll go heat sink, we'll go heat sink, we'll go heat sink, and heat sink. Give me some AC5 ammo. Give me some more AC5 ammo. That's only 80 rounds. Screw it. We'll put in another bin. We'll put in another heat sink. And that'll have to do. That will have to do. Alright, there we go. Now let's put the T-Bolt back together. T-Bolt got a little shit on. Got a little shit on. And we need to adjust armor values. And so what I'm doing here is I'm basically adjusting armor values. Um, so that we've only got one ton. There we go. What I want to do is this. There we go. I'm trying to set it up so that, uh, Oh, I would love to put an AMS in pistol. The problem is AMS gets its its own dedicated slot and the only mech that we currently have with an AMS slot is the Hero Trev. And it works great. It's just unfortunately it doesn't uh you have to have specific stuff for it is is the short version. Uh let's go large laser. Uh, we will go medium lasers. Nope. Sorry. Nope. Do I tell you? There we go. Now the question is, I could do something really stupid and put in, like, some AC2s in the ballistic, eat up all of our tonnage that way, and then leave the missile slots empty? But that just seems like a hilariously bad idea to me. There's also a part of me that's like, well, we could do a light rifle. But again, seems like a hilariously bad idea. Then again, this is the cult of bad tactical decisions. It would absolutely be in keeping. It would absolutely be in keeping with the traditions of this company to do some goofy shit like that. Let's see. We did it that way, and we put in SRMs as well. We got a large missile, which an SRM-6 into a large missile slot kind of feels like a waste. But it's fine. And then we stick in an SRM-4. So we definitely can't do that. It makes us more of a long or a close range boat, but we would have to ditch at least one of the AC2s in order to have any tonnage for ammunition. We'd also have to be very, very careful about how we manage our heat on the lasers, which isn't a problem, but also you guys know I'm not real great at heat management. 
Yeah, light rifles are half the tonnage of AC-2s, they're also about half the fire rate as well. Like, AC-2s can be outstanding for sniping. Chat. Chat. I can't help myself, chat. I can't help myself. And we got... I mean, I don't want to risk a double heat sink, but at the same time... We need some kind of cooling in this damn mech. Because the SRMs are going to run hot, the lasers are going to run hot if we fire them all at the same time. Yeah, that's my problem, is, like, we definitely need double heat sinks, or at least it feels like we do. But I really don't want to put in a double heat sink in a torso location, because it's just going to get blown up. Chad, I'm sorry, I have a disease. I, I have a disease and I can't help myself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe short bursts? Actually, that's not a bad idea. If we go with the short bursts, that'll help us keep our, our heat down. That is not the worst idea I've ever heard. It does minimize our damage, or it, it reduces our damage potential a little bit, but it definitely helps with the heat management. So that's going to give us... 400 rounds on the AC-2s, we'll be firing those like mad. And that'll give us 640 missiles for the SRMs. That's going to be where the majority of our damage comes from. Let's do it, Chad. I feel like it's a terrible idea, but I also feel like we have to try it. Alright, now, with that out of the way, let's hit the star map and let's get back to this mission. I, I, there's just, like, there's a part of me, I'm, I'm having that, uh, I'm having that moment, the Tonight Show moment, where I'm like, I have the envelope to my head, the Johnny Carson thing, I've got the envelope, and I'm just like, we're gonna die, we're gonna die and it's gonna be terrible. Uh, have we upgraded our mechs? I have not. That's a thing that I keep telling myself I need to do, and then I never actually do it. Because, as it turns out, I'm an idiot. Is it... I mean, I know we just moved, but maybe we go back. Let's, let's go back. Let's go back. We'll do some upgrades on some of the mechs. It might be a waste of time and money, but I keep saying I'm gonna do it, and then I don't do it. So let's let's actually do some upgrades. At least we'll die together. You goddamn right. That's all I ask. All right, let's go to the mechs. Uh, I'm definitely gonna upgrade the freaking trebuchet. So let me see here. What do we need with this? We need less heat. So yes, less missile heat, please. Uh, we want more heat capacity, more heat dissipation. We can just get a flat buff to weapon damage, so yes, I do believe I will. We'll also do extra missile damage. We'll do extra missile range and velocity. How much is this going to cost? 
This is gonna be ridiculous, isn't it? Where's the summary that tells me how much it's gonna cost? Two million sea bills in 75 days. Okay, so you say two million. Where where are you seeing that? Like, if it shows me in the interface, I'm trying, like... Tell me, Dizzy. Like, if I'm looking at this right now, where should I be looking at the cost? Where does it say that? Bottom left. Ah, there you go. No, you're right. There it is. 75 days, 2 million sea bills. Got it. It is expensive and will take a while. Yeah, that's true. That is true. But we're gonna do it. Um, I think that's all I'm gonna do, though. At least for now. Because, again, it's a hero mech. I don't know if I'll upgrade the rest of the mechs. Maybe the Thunderbolt, but I don't know. I don't know. I said I was going to do it, and I did it. They go away if you cold storage it. That's fine. I don't think I'm going to cold storage the trip anytime soon. And if I do, it'll probably be for good. I'll just... I will endeavor to remember that, but chat, please try to stop me. Like, I know I kind of tend to do stuff and then look for feedback, but like, if it ever feels like I'm thinking about putting the trip in cold storage, Try to stop me before I do it. Because I might forget that that's a thing. So, like, if it ever seems like I'm waffling on the beat on it, like, it should warn me. But that doesn't mean I won't fast forward through the message. Why can we hire pilots in a combat zone? That seems like a very strange thing. Then again, look at this guy. Let's do this, Commander. Drinks are on this me when we get back. Also, I like his voice. Thanks for the You're hired. Me, Commander. Let's go see what kind of trouble we can get into. And incidentally, hey Holden, get the fuck out. One of the worst pilots we still have. One of the pilots that we had late in the game or early in the game. Uh, can we? We cannot take any of these. All right. So contracts, contracts, sixty-five. We can't risk the Fusiliers mounting another attack against Candidate Owens. A preemptive strike against their nearby garrison is necessary to protect Owens. They're upping the tonnage limit on us again. So things are going to get, uh, are going to get a little rough, I imagine. But, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Careful, Commander. The sensors are malfunctioning due to the weather. And your visibility on this mission will be compromised as well. Once again, Rihanna, I appreciate you explaining how visibility in a war zone works. What would I do without you? Alright. Uh, I think we're taking out Mad Squad. Where's the 3D and who has the best energy? You currently have the best energy, so you get the 3D. Uh, you're injured, so you're out. Uh, who's going to be in your place? I mean, all these are energy boats. I'm going to take Fitzpatrick because they've got ballistic and energy. And what is this? Alright, and then uh, you're going to get the 3M. And it's going to take us a little while to actually get all this put back together, but uh, we'll do it. We'll do it. 49 days, that's not too bad. All right, Chet. I know it's been a little while. We've been messing around in the mech bay. But let's make it hat. And hopefully the AI will not screw us on this one. All right, first and foremost, let's have a look at those weapon groups. AC2s. All right. First of all, first of all, we already got the heavy hand set up, which is good. I want... I'm gonna be hammering hard on those AC2s, so I'm gonna make those my primary weapon group. We'll set it up like that for now. I'll, I'll focus on the AC2s and leave the SRMs for when we get in close. Right, let's see. This will be an 
Alright. 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 About as good as it's gonna get. Well, fuck's sake, I hope so. There's only, what, nine? No, say two, they seven large lasers and two AC-5s between the three of you, so I fucking hope you can take out a vehicle at long range. I had to do some math. I, I had to think about it for a second. Is a force necessary to protect a candidate for trade president? It's a little more complicated than that, Commander. Local democracy in the Federated Soviet is a luxury granted by the various dukes and barons that administer the systems, not a basic right like it is in the Free World League. Though a majority of Federation worlds allow regional democracies to govern themselves, the Federated Sons is still, at its heart, a constitutional aristocracy. So, hereditary rulers can still attempt to further consolidate their own personal power over their subjects, if allowed to. Right. Which means? The eyes of democracy appear to be fighting against a power grab from Duke Hasek Davion. If the Duke puts his own puppet candidate in this Trade Federation position, there's no guarantee he'll ever give that power back to the people once he has it. There's your, uh, freshman politics lesson, Jet. Oh! Cyclops. Cyclops? We haven't seen one of those in a while. We'll have to see how we do against the Cyclops at range. Cause I sure as hell can't see him from here. Oh no, I can. Just can't hit him from here. Oh, we got some light mechs. Focus on the light mechs. Don't worry about the Cyclops. If it's not out here where you can see it, don't worry about it. I'm sorry? Why am I not surprised that you are directly fucking behind me? Okay, there we go. That's a locust down. We're already taking far too much damage. Feel free to die any time now, my dude. Good lord. Coordinating air Man, the headshots are such a tough thing to get at this range in this game. Everything except the head. 
Gin gravy. Alright, so we're just demolishing the base. That's easy enough. We can demolish a base. Yeah, that shutter lock was, uh... Yeah. He was not fucking around. That dude had a vendetta, and he was not gonna stop until it had been resolved. I'm liking the AC too. It doesn't do quite as much damage as I would like it to, but in terms of the accuracy and the range, I, I'm, I'm definitely liking it. Again, as, as previously stated, the the uh, the T bolt makes an outstanding battering ram. Go ahead and take out the enemy mech guys. If Owens himself instigated the raid against his March Lord, that would be treason, and the Duke would have all the justification he needs to arrest and execute him. Here we go. I saw that. So, you guys will have to, you'll, you'll have to let me know. Is it actually possible for uh, you to get friendly fired in this game? I'm genuinely curious. Again, not a single shot. Not a single shot hitting that guy in the head. Alright, this, this should do most of the rest of the damage, right? Maybe? Question mark? I mean, we're just plowing through all- Oh, now. They're bringing in more. Sadly, we're gonna have to go through them to get to the extract. I'm not gonna spend a whole bunch of time fighting these donkeys. I'm just gonna GTFO. Let's get out of here, Commander. Job well done. Let us indeed, Rihanna. Let us please get out of here before I lose any parts. Headshots are the cock hit glass. And maybe friendly fire is a thing. I don't know. Like, it feels like sometimes I get shot by my own dudes in the back. Especially when I'm, like, in the trab and I'm up close. But maybe it's just me. Maybe maybe that's just how I'm interpreting it. Uh, but we did get some decent salvage. I'll take a Shadowhawk. We cannot get the Blackjack as well, but we can take some of these lasers. Which, again, we're gonna need them, I feel like. Uh, I guess... I guess I'll take an SRM-2? I don't really want one or need one, but we'll take it. Friendly fire is a thing. Good to know. Good to know. I had suspected, but, uh, good to confirm. Oh, there's a part four. Okay. Well, all right then. And also on a different planet. I'm not surprised. Shadowhawk. I mean, is, is it worth it? Do we... No, no, we we have Hunchback Squad. We have Hunchback Squad. We don't need a Shadowhawk.
Look at that. No lost parts, no lost weapons. What a world. What a world. I never would have guessed to make it through an entire gauge engagement without anybody getting anything blown up. Although they certainly got close with me, that's for damn sure. Uh, this isn't even in a combat zone, so let's go. They finished the upgrades on the Treb as well, so there's a part of me that kind of wants to take out the Treb. But, I'm not gonna lie, I like the Treb, and after finishing up the upgrades, I kind of want to see what it's like now that it does more damage and generates less heat. 